Los Angeles has numerous different ethnic enclaves living in close proximity to each other. And with those different enclaves, you have different cultures and their food eventually intermingling and mixing with each other. And sometimes one culture will borrow another culture's food. Like, for example, tacos made with Korean meat. This is actually a brilliant idea. I mean, the idea of taking the base recipe of what is a taco and then changing out the meat and seasoning with the Korean barbecue. Now you have a new way of eating Korean barbecue and you have a new style of tacos. And I, there's no surprise that the original inventor of it blew up like crazy. But that being said, I one night was invited to a friend's house for dinner and he was a brilliant cook. So his homemade dinner was definitely something worth talking about. I got there too early that night and he was in the process of making gnocchi. So I decided to be helpful instead of just sitting around doing nothing. I helped him make gnocchi and he taught me the basic idea of the recipe. You take a root vegetable like potato and then you basically mash it up and you mix in it just enough flour and a binder like egg yolk and you form a dough and voila, you have gnocchi. So the idea was very simple and it was way better than what I had in a restaurant. So I find it a tasty dish that takes very little effort to make. So I decided to start making it at home. And I realized being that the recipe was so simple, I started using other types of potatoes, experimenting with it because different potatoes have different levels of starchiness. And most of them came out pretty good. Sometimes a little denser, sometimes a little chewier, but they are all generally pretty good. And the flavor also changes. And I realized if I use sweet potato, it becomes a different type of texture. And if I use yam, it was a slightly different texture with now with sweetness. All very interesting. But I think as food starts to progress and people start to borrow and intermingle recipes, I think it's good for generally the overall development of different types of recipes. Because cultures and foods do allow for fusion, and I think that is one of the great things about cuisines and dining in Los Angeles, is you do get to experience these types of fusion. And honestly, as long as you pay homage to it and not try to claim that this is authentic gnocchi, I think it is perfectly fine. It is inspired by gnocchi, and I know what I'm getting into. So I'm not going to sit there and be angry that it doesn't taste like the original gnocchi, because it's not. It is not the original, but it is a recipe that's inspired by it. And I think that overall is the great progression of food as cultures in this world blends. Well, thank you for listening to the story. If you like it, please like the video and subscribe. Thank you very much, and you have a great day.